to those of us joining live, to those catching the replay. Welcome, 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 welcome. <sighs> Let's get comfortable. Let's get settled in. Make sure that you have some water. Make sure you have a journal or even a pillow. You can stream into this pillow. I've been doing lots of guttural screams it feels really good your body knows what it needs right now so let's surrender to the divine and sacred intelligence and authority of our bodies uh, let's make sure you have space for yourself right now whether you're joining me in this moment or uh, on youtube hello beautiful youtube family we're on instagram live right now um, still figuring out how to do YouTube live and that's a goal in the future. So just settling in, I'm going to give a few more moments for people to, uh, arrive into this space. And I would love to know how you're feeling right now. And this is something to monitor throughout our time together, how you're feeling before, in the middle, after, hopefully you're going to leave this call feeling a lot more stable, grounded, centered, at peace in your power, feeling safe and supported and at ease. Uh, so for those of you who are joining me for the first time, hello, hello, hello. My name is Sara Hewurahimova. I am a Russian trained actress international performer, certified dream awake EFT tapping practitioner devoted to helping you live your best life on stage, on screen and off. And I also want to extend that to, I mean, I believe that everyone's an artist, uh, but I want to extend the circle or the niche to, to all beings right now, because I work with a lot of people who don't declare themselves professionally as artists, but they're in other fields like real estate or um, engineers or lawyer, like any capacity, wherever there's emotion, tapping can help you. I work with a lot of people with anxiety, uh, with complex trauma, uh, essentially anywhere with high performers, of course, my artists, you're there, you're here, we're here together. Uh, but wherever there's emotion, tapping can support you. If you have back pain, if you are ready to release excess weight, if you are healing from severe PTSD, if you're ready to release money blocks, if you're ready to uh, step into your power and shake off stagnation and own your gifts and manifest your visions, EFT can do all of it and more at the same moment, which is why I felt so compelled to create this tap offering today because there is so much density circulating collectively right now and we're all feeling it we're all feeling it internally we're feeling it externally but as i always say to make any sustainable change in your life in your career it starts from within it always starts from within. Everything that's happening outside of us is a reflection that's happening inside of us. And I know the temptation to read the news or to scroll social media or to numb ourselves out or to get angry or to feel detached or to get reactive or to blame or to shame or to judge. It's, it's all very um, intense and prominent and potent right now. Hi. Welcome, welcome. Uh, and this is an opportunity to allow yourself to fully process all of that all of the uncomfortability, all of the rough edges, all of the hurt, all of the fear, all of the judgment, all of the static, all of the anxiety. <laughs> Aloha. <laughs> uh, ooh, I just got a beautiful, my husband just sprayed some <laughs> beautiful scent. It's aromatic here. <laughs> Sending that vibe right now. Wow. That's a beautiful scent to ground into the space. But with tapping, we're, we're able to really bring deep love and acceptance and empathy to all that we're feeling without blame, without shame, without judgment. And this is what actually allows us to process, transform, transmute and alchemize it into what we want to be feeling back into our power, whatever it is, you want to feel more peace, you want to feel centered and calm, you want to feel safe in your body and in your environment, you want to be able to show up for your friends and family. Well, first, we have to show up for ourselves. 
And this is, yeah, this is something you can come back to again and again. I highly encourage you to share it, hello, hello, with uh, people in your life who need this support right now. Uh, because that is how we continue to circulate the abundance, the love, the support, the, the nature of giving. And that's really what I want to co-create in this space. And I also want to share that at the moment, I have all of my one-on-one -on -one offers currently 50% off, all of them. I want this work to be accessible and available uh, to to everyone right now. I mean, I always wanted to be accessible and available, which is why I strive for different tiers of ways of working with me and opportunities to to tap, to heal, to grow, to evolve, to manifest, to transform. Uh, but there's something so deeply profound and powerful about the one-on-one -on -one portals, and I have a range of 30 minutes to three weeks. Everything is done, hello, hello, over Zoom. So you get to keep the recording for life. There's beautiful practices I have for integration and embodiment from journaling to meditation to visualization to power taps to breath work to embodiment practices that I do in my own life that continue to transform my own uh, experience in this 3D reality <laughs> as well as that of my clients. Uh, so it's really an honor to share that with you. I highly encourage you to take advantage with it. You can find it at the link in my bio if you're visiting me on Instagram, or you can do so just below on YouTube. All the links will be there. We have Thrive into 2025, Rewire Your Mind, My Signature Accelerate Your Artist Life 90-minute session, Ascend Your Artist Life 3-week immersion. It's like a transformation metamorphic incubator. Uh, there, there's more limited spots on that one, so be sure sure to grab that now and reach out at impulse to, at actor to artist.com if you have questions there's also my elevate your artist life free connection call if you have any uh, curiosities you want to know what could be right for you you want to talk about the tapping process you just want to connect face to face that's why I created it and all right let's get into this so whether you're tapping for the first time or the zillionth time we're always meeting at a new level of consciousness. So I just wanna lay the groundwork really fast so we can bring greater intention into our process together. So tapping emotional freedom techniques or EFT is a combination of modern psychology, Chinese medicine and neuroplasticity that helps us rewire, repattern, reprogram ourselves from the inside out, our subconscious, our brains, our minds, our nervous, our nervous systems, to live a more empowering, healthy, ecstatic, beautiful, peaceful life. And the tapping we're gonna be doing today is Dream Awake. This is what I'm certified in, this is what I teach all over the world and here locally in Los Angeles, of course. And it is the most powerful modality I've ever encountered in the healing space. It's transformed my life. What could have taken decades of healing happened within months and years. I see the same result for clients in my space and anyone who comes across the work of Jennifer Partridge. She is the beautiful facilitator at the helm, bridging this method together. And Dream Awake combines the basic clinical classical effects of EFT, the whole process, of course, which is dynamic and beautiful in itself. Always, any practitioner is amazing. I don't want a single one out or another. It's all beneficial, but Dream Awake is another dimension it's a quantum leap in itself so we add breath work we add somatic movement we add ancestral healing inner child healing higher self healing nlp parts work it's truly quantum healing and you're going to experience the multi-dimensional effects and benefits of it today so the way we move things in tapping is really allow ourselves to feel it so that is the greatest gift you can give yourself right here, right now, is just to feel what's happening. And that's how we move the emotional, energetic, mental, mental, physical, spiritual contents through our bodies, through our nervous system, through our energy field, through our minds to transform them and come into a state of flexibility and regulation and coherence and groundedness and calm and awareness and intention. So... Let's take a deep breath in together. 
Let it out. <sighs> Hi. Let's actually take a sip of water before we begin. You're going to find that tapping is like a massage for your entire system. So we want to keep hydrating through this process. I have my pillow here in case you want to scream. Have your journal handy and your full presence. Let's call our full presence into the space right now. And we're gonna begin by massaging the emotional well. This is the sore spot underneath our collarbones. This is where we store a lot of pent up emotions. So tender, it's a little tender here. You can feel around and excuse me, just by doing this, we're inviting the emotion to rise to the surface. So, we really want to tune into what's actually happening in our bodies right now, in our minds. All the fears, all the anxieties, all the stress, all the what ifs, all the worst case scenarioing, all that's been happening these last few days. I was unsure if I should wear red today, but I said I'll be damned if anyone steals my joy. <laughs> even through intensity, even through the darkness, we get to be our own light and tapping gets to be a huge support system for that. So you might already feel yourself hiccuping, burping, yawning, crying, tingling, yes, even farting. <laughs> our bodies are processing as they need to and this is what we call off-gassing and tapping. It's really important that you let your body do this as it needs to. I've been crying and screaming and shaking and tingling a lot these last few days with tapping and it's really helped me accelerate um, and the release process and the transformation and transmutation process which is how I'm able to show up for you here today uh, which is also just such a gift and I'm so happy to do it and I hope this serves you in the highest capacity for the highest good of all let's take a deep breath in repeating after me <sighs> tapping the center of the chest I've been feeling a lot of things these past few days. I've been feeling a lot of fear. I feel a lot of rage. I feel a lot of grief. I feel a lot of, and tell me what you've been feeling that's unique to you. I've been feeling, tell me what it is. And I've been really struggling to move through this. This has been a lot to handle. And even though I've been feeling so much rage, grief, fear and sadness, I'm open to loving and accepting myself. I'm open to forgiving myself because I'm still a good person. I'm still worthy of love exactly as I am. Take a deep breath in, release a sigh. Let it out. Oh. Amazing tapping in between the eyebrows. This has been a really intense time. Tapping the temples. This has been a really fucking intense time. <laughs> tapping underneath the eyes. And I just want you to go on a little rant right now of all that's been happening. Of all you've been holding inside. Tapping underneath the nose. I've been feeling, tell me what it is. Tapping underneath the lips. And then what happened? Tapping all over the chest. And that made me think, what are the thoughts that's been running around your mind? And then what? There's room for all of it here. All of it. There's nothing too small or too big or too weird or too whatever. Share it here now. Tapping the front of the ribs where they jut out. Let's take a deep breath in right there. 
Let it all go. <sighs> I'm open to loving myself right now. Tapping the side of the ribs. This has really been a lot to carry. Like this, or maybe you want to do this. Tapping the inside of the left wrist. I've been feeling so much, I don't even know where to begin. Tapping the side of the thumb by the nail. My mind has been spinning out of control. Tapping the pointer finger by the nail. And part of me doesn't know how to cope. Tapping the middle finger by the nail. Part of me doesn't know how to move through this. Tapping the opposite side of the next finger. Part of me feels only darkness and hopelessness and fear. Just tuning into what is present for you right now. Tapping the inside of the pinky finger. I'm offering some words and some sentiments, but you speak what's true for you. I want you to really feel into that worst case scenario right now. All that you're feeling, the darkness, the fear, the anxiety, the rage, the hopelessness, tapping the side of the hand, the deep and profound exhaustion, the when's it ever gonna change? What's the point? Just feeling into all of it right now, all the emotional contents of it. Let's take a deep breath in, release a sigh. Let it all out. <sighs> Tapping all over the head. I love and deeply accept myself exactly as I am. Tapping in between the eyebrows. And I'm open to holding myself in compassion right now. Tapping the temples. I'm open to holding myself in deep empathy. Tapping underneath the eyes. Because it's possible I deserve that. That I deserve my own compassion and empathy and love here. Tapping underneath the nose. Exactly as I am. Take a deep belly breath in, release a sigh. Let it all out. Ah. Tapping underneath the lips. So I just want you to tune into right now what you're feeling. The anxiety, the rage, the fear, the doubt, the despair, the static, maybe the numbness. I want you to just feel it, see if it's moving, tapping all over the chest. Has it become more pronounced? Has it loosened up a little bit? Has it shifted in your body? Just bringing awareness to it, we're not judging it. If you feel like it's gotten more intense, that's great. It's actually sharing with us that there was in fact some numbness there and now that the numbness is lifting, we're actually feeling the emotional contents of what's been under the surface the whole time. So that's a great thing. When we move up on the intensity scale in tapping, it's a wonderful thing as well because we're really accessing the roots of what's been living there the whole time. Remember, tapping cannot um, push any negativity in. It, it can only draw out what's there and heal it with love. So we're just holding our own awareness in the space. Even though I still have some anxiety, tapping the front of the ribs, and fear and grief and rage. I'm open to bringing love to this anxiety. And fear and grief and rage. Tipping this side of the ribs. It's possible if I bring love to this, I'll feel more peace. Tapping the inside of the right wrist. It's possible if I hold myself in compassion here, I'll feel more ease and lightness. Tapping the side of the thumb. It's possible if I deeply accept how I feel, 
I'll feel more safe. Tapping the pointer finger by the, na the nail. And I'd really like to feel more safe right now. Tapping the middle finger. I'd really like to feel more safe in my body. I'd like to feel more safe in my mind. I'd like to feel more safe in the world. Tapping the opposite side of the next finger and I'm deserving of that level of safety. Exactly as I am. Take a deep breath in, release a sigh. <sighs> Tapping on your, uh, inside of the pinky finger. So just tuning in to all that's happening on the surface right now, the friction on the surface, the rage, the grief, the doubt, the despair, the insecurity, the, the future casting, the worst case scenarioing, the man of fearing. <laughs> and let's drop into what's actually also happening below that, the layer below that's, that's wanting just to feel safe and seen and heard and protected. Because ultimately, tapping the side of the hand, the goal of our subconscious and our nervous system is to keep us safe. And when that feels threatened, primal instincts get activated. Cortisol and adrenaline spike. Our body is rushed with these like stress hormones that send us out of control. And even just the process of tapping with me right now, and we're taking our time. There is no rush through this. We're telling the amygdala, the fear center of our brain, that we're safe. We're cooling down the cortisol, the stress hormone, tapping for an hour, drops your cortisol levels by like 41%, which is massive. Cortisol stress hormones leads to destruction and havoc in our lives, our bodies, our health, our relationships, everything. And the crazy thing is stress can be turned on by thought alone. So right now you're telling your mind, your body, your nervous system that you're safe. And we're threading that in, we're wiring that in, tapping all over the head, that you get to feel safe in your body and your mind and your heart and your spirit and your nervous system, even through change, even through darkness, even through challenge. We're expanding our window of tolerance right now and bringing coherence back into our minds and our hearts and our bodies and that's what allows us to tap back into our true creative power, regardless of what's happening outside of us, locally, um, in the country or around the world, we get to tap back into our power right now. It's possible I can feel safe in this moment, right here, right now. Tapping the temples. I'm tapping back into my true power right here, right now. Tapping underneath the eyes. I deserve to feel safe in this moment. Tapping underneath the nose. I deserve to feel supported and protected. Tapping underneath the lips. I deserve to feel safe, seen, and held exactly as I am. Take a deep belly breath in, release a big sigh. <sighs> Amazing. Amazing, moving, ooh, I'm feeling some release in my neck right now, my shoulders, that's where I personally carry a lot of tension. So we're gonna drop back in to where we're feeling unsafe now. We've created new layers, new potential, new awareness of safety in and around us. And now we're gonna go back into the parts of us that are in resistance to that safety, that hold the residue of fear and anger and rage and hurt and heartache. And we're gonna go into it and bring more love to it. We got this. Tapping the front of the ribs. So I want you to tune into the part of yourself that doesn't feel safe. That feels rage, that feels hurt, that feels despair, that feels grief. Tapping the side of the ribs. 
Where does that live in your body? Is it in your throat? Is it in your stomach? Is it in your head? Is it your thoughts running a mile a minute? Tapping the inside of the left wrist. Is it your gut, your solar plexus, your whole central channel? Just feeling it right now. Tapping the side of the thumb. And what's the texture of it? Of what you're feeling? The despair, the rage, the grief, the hopelessness, the exhaustion. Tapping the pointer finger by the nail. Is it sticky? Is it prickly? Is it festering? Is it oozing? Is it metallic? Is it thick? Is it dense? Does it feel just absolutely impenetrable? Is it hot? Is it acidic? Tapping the middle finger by the nail. Just allowing yourself to feel it fully, the texture, the emotional contents of it. Tapping the opposite side of the next finger. And I want you to tune into a moment when it's been most intense for you. These last few days or months or years. Just a moment where it's felt so overwhelming, so unbearable, like it's too much to handle. We're gonna be with that for a little bit and then we're gonna let it go and you'll feel a lot better, okay? Tapping the inside of the pinky finger. I want you to tune into the moment where it felt so overwhelming, so anxiety inducing, so hopeless, so exhausting, so full of doubt, just feeling the darkness encompassing you, tapping the side of the hand. Let's just feel that. And I want you to times it by 50%. Really get on the edge of it. Really allow yourself to feel it. That's how we process it through the body. Tapping all over the head now times it by 75%. Really get on the edge of it. Really let yourself have it. The moment where everything just felt contracted and stuck and hurt and full of heartache and doubt and darkness. Tapping in between the eyebrows. And now I want you to times it by 100% really fully let yourself have it that this is all there's going to be this is all that's going to happen you're going to live with this for the rest of your life you're going to carry this for the rest of your life there's no way to get through it let yourself have it fully feel it think it believe it just feel it absolutely fully in your whole emotional energetic spiritual physical mental system take a deep belly breath in release a sigh Take another deep belly breath in, release a sigh. Let it all out. <sighs> Tapping underneath the eyes. Take another deep belly breath in, release a sigh. <sighs> Tapping underneath the nose and now, in this moment of release, of letting go, I want you to imagine your higher self entering the space right now and wrapping you up in their arms. Your higher self, tapping underneath the lips, is pure connection to unconditional love, compassion, and empathy. Your higher self is holding you right now in full embrace, in full compassion, in full resonance, in full love, in full acceptance, in full safety, just letting yourself open, soften, relax into the arms of your higher self right now. Feeling yourself held, protected, safe, guarded, seen and serene. Take a deep belly breath in right here. <sighs> Tapping the front of the ribs. It's possible I'm safe right now in this moment. Tapping the side of the ribs. It's possible my higher self has got me. That I'm protected and supported. Tapping the inside of the right wrist. That I'm held and taken care of. Tapping the side of the thumb by the nail. 
It's possible I can feel peace now. Tapping the pointer finger by the nail. It's possible I can come home to my center now. Tapping the middle finger by the nail. It's possible I can return to my place of power now. Tapping the opposite side of the next finger and just feeling how into the arms of your higher self, that protection, that, that support, that barrier almost, that bubble of white energy, just, just only letting love in and love out. Love in and love out. Feeling into any parts of you that are still resisting this protection, this safety, this love, this feeling of being held and supported and seen and serene. Tapping the inside of the pinky finger. Any residue that's resisting that, let's just breathe into that right now. <sighs> Tapping the side of the hand. I love and deeply accept myself exactly as I am. And I'm worthy of this level of safety in my life. I'm worthy of this protection. I'm worthy of this peace. Tapping all over the head. It's possible that this light gets to guide me through the darkness. It's possible that my light can help others find their light. Tapping in between the eyebrows. It's possible that my light has always been here. Tapping the temples even if I forgot about it for a little while. Tapping underneath the eyes. I'm reclaiming my light right here and right now. Tapping underneath the nose. I'm being my own star. Tapping underneath the lips. And I'm carrying this energy as a gift to myself to my loved ones and to humanity at large. Tapping all over the chest. And by taking care of myself, I'm able to show up in my true power and potential. Tapping the front of the ribs. And that's what the world really needs right now. Tapping the side of the ribs. And that's what I really need right now. Tapping the inside of the right wrist. I'm ready to make feeling safe in my body a regular habit. Tapping the side of the thumb by the nail. I'm wiring and firing these new safety frequencies, thoughts, emotions, and perceptions into my subconscious mind. Your finger into my nervous system and into my life. Tapping the middle finger by the nail because I deserve to feel grounded, whole, and complete and protected. Tapping the opposite side of the next finger, regardless of what is happening outside of me. Inside of the pinky finger, I'm choosing to come back to my true power now. Tapping the side of the hand, I'm choosing to illuminate the path for myself and others now. Tapping all over the head. I'm choosing to be the light. I'm capable of being the light. 
I'm committed to being the light. I was destined to be the light. I'm a radiant light being. And I deserve to share my light with myself, my loved ones, and the world. Exactly as I am. Take a deep breath in. Release a sigh. <sighs> Tapping all over the body. All over the body, just tuning into the new frequency you've established inside of yourself, in you and around you. And from this new frequency, what are you ready to feel more of on a daily basis? More peace, more love, more abundance, more safety, more ease, more support, more trust, more faith, more power. Let's tap all over the body and we're going to say five times, I'm ready to feel or I'm worthy of feeling. Give me five. Mm -hmm. I'm worthy of peace. I'm worthy of prosperity. I'm ready to feel more flow. I'm ready to feel protected. I'm ready to be supported. Just feeling that frequency right now. We're, we're deepening it. We're anchoring it. We're habituating it. We're normalizing it. We're creating a new emotional home right now. And from this emotional frequency, what are the thoughts that you think on a regular basis? I'm ready to think that I am capable, that I am safe that I am supported, that I got this, that I was born for this, that I'm stronger than I ever once knew, that I'm destined to heal and transform and grow beyond my wildest imaginings and light the path for all of humanity. And let's do three core beliefs that we're ready to install from this frequency. I'm worthy, I'm deserving. Healing gets to be much more easy and fun than I ever thought possible. That I'm a light being and a light bearer. <laughs> Give me one more. Amazing. Take a deep breath in. Release a sigh. <sighs> just letting your hands fall open palm in your lap and just tuning into that white bubble of energy that we establish with our higher selves. Just feeling fully protected, fully supported, safe. And that the, the contents of all we move through today is just supercharging, resonating, Ooh, this wind <laughs> is, is flourishing, is amplifying all that love, all that compassion, all that forgiveness, all that spaciousness, all that rest, all that peace, and that it's just growing and blooming and blossoming and feeding the positivity and the joy and the ease and that this beautiful, this beautiful edge of the bubble, anything that comes into contact with it just disintegrates into love. It dissipates into forgiveness. It, it transforms just in, and softens into compassion and that you're protected at all moments with this bubble in you and around you. And the more you feed this energy, the, the thicker it becomes, the more robust, the more strong, the more resonant, and that you carry this in you and around you at all times. And you can always come back to this space because it's your true nature. It's who you are. It's your birthright. Let's take one final deep breath in here. Release a sigh. <sighs> Gently opening your eyes to the space. <laughs> Music. <laughs> to drink some water. Just tuning into how you're feeling before and after. Any. 
anxiety, rage, grief, despair, maybe more peace, maybe more presence, maybe more softness, maybe more acceptance, maybe more forgiveness, maybe more support and safety, maybe more relaxation. Just making a note of that for yourself. I would love for you to share in the comments below how you're feeling, any breakthroughs you had, any discoveries. Give yourself a big old hug for doing this, for showing up for you, for your loved ones, for humanity. This is literally the most powerful work we can be doing right now. Truly, madly, deeply, it is. It absolutely is. Because when we come back into our wholeness and our power and our presence and our potency and our purpose and our potential, we're truly unfucking stoppable. So I, I encourage you to share this with someone who needs it. Pass along the love, circulate the abundance, the inner peace, the joy. Joy is an act of resistance. Rest is an act of resistance. Art and creativity is an act of resistance. And to fully show up to do these things externally, we need to take care of ourselves internally. And Tapping is here to support you with that. I am here to support you with that. It's such an honor to share this with you. I'm so happy to tap with you today and whenever you're encountering this video. As I said, all of my one-on-one -on -one offerings and even my uh, power taps right now, everything's 50% off to support you through this time. It'll be through the holidays. Uh, at least definitely till December 2nd, potentially January 1st. So be sure to check back. And I can't wait to continue tapping with you. This is the greatest give, gift you can give to yourself, to your loved ones, and to humanity at large. Uh, so much love. Rest up. Drink water. Journal. And if you want to share how you're feeling, DM me. Drop it in the comments. Email impulse at actortoartist.com. Take care. I love you. Ciao. <laughs>